Ooh, man, did I stay up all night watching and watching Netflix? <laughs> Sounds like a normal night to me. Well, I guess it's time to go to work. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to today's video. We are here in County Line on the Century Farm farm, and uh, we've got a lot of work to do here today. I mean, you guys get the idea. We've been doing the same thing over and over and again. Pretty much we've been getting Dad unstuck. But we have something exciting today that we are going to be collecting. And, uh, well, I'm sure most of you already know what it is. But for those of you who don't, you are going to love this. So I guess the first thing we should do is, uh, man, did we drive up there? Did we pick it up up there? Did we trade in? What do we do? Ah, oh, decisions. Okay, let's take this truck. Here we go. All right. Dodge 6.7 Cummins. We're in it. We're rolling. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you get a big old thumbs up. If you find yourself watching more than one video, then it's a good sign that you enjoy the content and you want to be notified when new videos are posted. So click that subscribe button to join the Pickle Jar community. And we are going to run on up to the store and pick up one of the many items that we need to pick up. But we're going to take a couple years to get picked up because I'm lazy. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic week so far. I don't know yet, but at some point in this week, I hope to have something cool to announce to you guys. But I just I don't know when I can. I don't know if I already have by the time you've seen this video. So uh, just know. At some point in time, if you're watching this the week it was uploaded, there will be some cool... Wow, that was wild. I think I just broke my neck. I think there's going to be some cool uh, cool stuff being announced here shortly. Also, I do want to say thank you all so much for 60,000 subscribers. We're actually at 61,000 subscribers right now at the time of recording this. It means a lot. I'm glad that you guys enjoy the content enough to subscribe thank you for all the continued support here on the channel now this isn't a parking spot but we're gonna make it one because well when you drive a big old boat like that no one's gonna question it right let's run on in here and get ourselves some uh some coffee and casey's pizza shall we Ooh, ooh. all right they got that uh they got that pumpkin pie blend coffee right now i know normally you hear it as pumpkin spice but casey's has like a pumpkin pie blend coffee i tried it yeah i uh, i think i'll just I'll stick with either the, the Casey's Classic or uh, or Hazelnut. I don't know how I feel about the pumpkin pie. Maybe I'll get it. You know, maybe it's going to grow on me. Maybe it'll grow on me. We'll see. We're going to run over here and pick up one of the many new things that we have today. That is a combine, my friends. Actually, I'm messing with you. It's not the combine that we're here for. It's this. That's right. The 2008 Dodge Ram 3500. Mega cab with an extended eight foot box is back. And oh, look at that. There's a small little issue there when the mirror's folded. Do you see that? I never noticed that until just now. It's only on that one side though. Yeah, it's only that one side. Huh, a little bit of a, there's just a single. Anyways, <laughs> ignoring that, here it is. Check this thing out. The interior all fully modeled like the interior really is in real life on this exact truck. The only difference is the real truck has a sunroof where this one does not. And there are a few button differences up here where the real truck has some extra buttons like a, like an exhaust brake system and some things like that where this one does not. But other than that, this is exactly what the truck looks like in real life. Let's go ahead and fire this baby up. Let's listen to it though. This thing is gonna, whoo, you ready? Oh yeah. Now that sounds mean. So we got the dually here and uh, we've got the stock drop hitch in the pack. We've also have the gooseneck right there in the bed. The tailgate does go up and down. As you can see, there is also uh, on the real truck right back here. There's a sliding window on the back wind shield or whatever a back window. And there's not one on this model. Another small difference. Then on the inside here, we do have some interactive control. We can put the mirrors out. Now we got our mirrors in our standard position. We can change the mirrors to fold up into tow position and they automatically adjust their angle. So you can see down the trailer line of sight. You can fold your mirrors back up. You can roll your front window down, your passenger window down, as well as your rear driver's side and your rear passenger windows can go up and down. Moving over here to the center, if you push 
this top one right here, you get your first stage lights up front. If you push this one right here, you get these lights right here as well. And they do interact with the seats, as you can see. They do actually light up the interior. And then we have one more IC control, and that folds up the rear bed so you can put stuff in the little storage cubby down underneath there this truck is looking amazing great job on buck for those of you who don't know this truck exists in real life this is the truck that we have on the farm my family have had this truck for many many years since about 2010 or so and uh it is a mega cab with an extended eight foot box so it's a custom built truck longer than the average truck you will see on the road and it is an absolute beast but let's get it back on down to the farm and then let's finally get into some work today, shall we? Anybody coming? Doesn't look like it. Let's roll. By the way, ooh, I'm sorry. Just listen to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it sounds so good. It really does. As you can see, you got a speedometer there on the absolute left-hand side. Um, the RPM gauge and the speedometer both work. You have a digital speed readout there on the left side. That was our turn. Oh boy, that's all right. You have an hour's clock on the right-hand side, and then you have an actual clock itself in the uh, infotainment area of the radio. So what we're going to do, put on our four-ways, and as you can see, four-way lights pop up and the hazards light as well. Turn ourselves right on around here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and turn on our running lamps and our stage two lights, and we might as well go full brights. And as you can see, those all light up individually as well. All right, we are here at the farm and let's pull on in. Woo-wee! We're spinning out a little bit there. Let's get to work today, shall we? We're just going to pull the truck all the way around to where they park it in real life. Check this out. And then you pull right on over here like this. And you just kind of park the truck right here. Perfect place for it to sit. Because you really never drive down this one all east all that often anyways. And, uh... Just push the truck right up out of the way. Perfect place for it to go. Now, let's go find the tractor. I think we actually left them out in the field, which, you know what? I don't want to want to walk out there. Maybe we'll just take the truck. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's take the truck. I don't want to walk out there. As you guys know, we've been working in this field for like 10,000 years, and it's been taking forever. We're hoping to get it done here at some point, but holy cow. It's been a process so far. We've got plenty of time. Well, sort of. We don't really have plenty of time, but that's the lie I keep serving myself so I don't worry about it. Ooh, don't get stuck now, Jake. Keep rolling. Give her a little bit more gas. There you go. I just can't get over how good this thing sounds. Oh, and look at the suspension on it, too. The suspension is just killer on it. Ah, this truck is so good. And for those of you guys who are wondering, I have no idea if Buck will be making this mod public or not. I have absolutely no idea. So I, I can ask him and we can see if we can get an answer for you on that. But short answer right now is I have no clue on if it will be or will not be at some point. All right, so we're showing up here where we left the tractor last time. I think I'm actually just going to kind of pull the truck up off over here on the other side, on the right side. Uh, or do I want to work on that area? You know what? I better work on that area. Man, our tires got all dirty, didn't they? So I'll leave the truck parked over here. This will be fine. And then we'll go work on that other bit right on over there. Right there will do. Shut her down. And let's hop on into the John Deere 8300. Fire it up. There we go. Go ahead and make sure those are all picked up, ready to go, and they are. Come on, tractor. Yeah, come on, boy. Yeah, get on up there now, boy. Yeah. It, oh, actually, it is happening. <laughs> For a second, I thought we were gonna get stuck there. Ooh, it's been a, it's been a mess. Y'all, uh, y you did tell me what mod it is that has been causing me to get stuck, like you know, a million times in every single video that I ever do, and uh, I appreciate that. Except I'm kind of an idiot, and I forgot to disable the mod. So, you know, we'll get there at some point. At some point, I'll remember to go through the mods list and just, like, delete that or something. But for now, we have to deal with my stupidity. Let's go ahead and put... This down. Actually, hold on. I think I may have just folded it up. I mean, cancel that. There we go. Put it down, and let's start ripping up the soil, shall we? 
There we go. Ripping it all up. No problem. While we're working on this field real quick, what are you guys looking forward to in the next farming sim game? Let me know in the comments down below. What are some of the key features that you're looking for? What are things that you would like to see implemented in the next farming simulator game? Whatever that game may be and whenever it may come out. I do not know, but I'm just curious what you guys think would be cool features to add for the game. I know off the top of my head, one of my biggest uh, requests is a used equipment market. Having the ability to buy used equipment in the store that, you know, for cheaper where it's, you know, maybe broke down a little bit or it's, you know, it's wear and tear is kind of, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's repair needle is, is at some random point, right? And uh, the price is decreased and it has hours already on it. Like say it has 40 hours or something like that. Whatever it may be, I think that would be really cool. The option to buy used equipment, um, because that's huge in farming. Very rarely do farmers buy everything brand new. Uh, a lot of farmers will buy used equipment and buy stuff at auctions and things like that. So I think that's a huge aspect that we're missing out on, and I would love to see implemented in some way. And I don't, I mean, I shouldn't say this because I don't know. I don't, I'm not a game dev, but I, I don't think that's really all that difficult. I think you just take the assets you already have and you randomly generate, uh, you randomly populate values in, in, in different, uh, in these different slots, such as the repair slot, the fuel slot, and the, the hour slot, which that already exists when you do the contract work. It are, you know, when you click lease equipment for, uh, for the contract, it'll give you a tractor with, with, uh, repair needle, fuel needle, and hours all variable. The number is is never set to just zero like you buy a brand new tractor. So in that sense, it, you're using a used tractor. So I think you could implement that into a, a actual like menu of sort or whatever have you, or even just a tickable option to be like, all right, this is the tractor. You have like a, you know, in the menu where you, you're going through the tires and everything, you can just have an option for new, used, new, used. And you could like go between the two options. I think that's something that we uh we would benefit a lot from well, what were you guys saying what do you think you would like to see in the next game in the comments down below all right well you guys get the idea short little video here today just want to show off the new truck hopefully you guys are excited about that just as much as i am like i said i will ask buck to see if or when it is going to be released and uh until next time y'all have a good one thank y'all so much for watching and uh have a great day